Hey there, youth workers. Paul Turner here from the discipleproject.net here with a video for you today. And I, I want to ask you a question. Would you like to have 500 youth ministry games in your pocket? Sounds like an easy answer, right? And it is because I'm going to be doing a review today of the brand new app called Grow Games. And Grow Games is from the company Grow, started by Kenny and L. Campbell. And they have a new app that has, at this date, a little over 500 games that you can access. And by the way, all the games are free. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the usability and uh, with uh, the quality of games you're going to get and all the access you get to those. So let's go ahead and jump into Grow Games. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the app. As you can see there, I have the uh, app at the bottom of my right hand part of my phone there. So I'll tap on the Grow Games. And there you see at the very top, it says explore 507 games in our library. And by the way, once again, these games are all free. Uh, you don't uh, need to pay anything. The app itself is free. These are uh, a treasure chest of games. You can scroll through. Lots of things there, lots of games from all different types of games. So let me show you right here how you can find the things you're looking for. You can find games for just about every event or meeting or theme that you're looking for. But if you look at tub jousting, it says uh, the tags there in the green uh, tags are at the, on the bottom of it. it says balloon, pool noodle, storage tub racers, teenagers up front. So that lets you know that you're going to be able to type in any of those and find similar games. So let me go ahead and just type in balloon like I have here at the top and I'll search. And there you go. You have one, two, three balloon games. You got balloon antlers, sumo balloono, and you have balloon cup blow off. Uh, and so easy searchability. It's uh, for whatever it is you're looking for. It's going to be uh, cool. So let me go ahead and tap on tub jousting to get a look at what tub jousting is. I don't think I've ever played this game. Uh, so you have tub jousting. It says description. Two students uh, sit on their brave steeds, hoping to become jousting champion of the world. When you shout, go, and the dust settles, who will be the champion? So it gives you the what to get, what to prep, how to play, and then some pro tips. And uh, they give you the slides here. So if you want to go ahead, and click, I'll click download slides. And it will give me the option here of two slides. It'll give me the option of a JPEG slide that I can put on the screen while this is while the game is going on or uh, in a JPEG or a PSD. So you can download those and right, go right to my Dropbox. If I just click that and then it says save to my Dropbox if I want to do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back to the actual Grow Games now. Now, uh, once again, the what to get, it gives you the supplies you need. It gives you uh, how to prep, which is super important. Um, you can rate this game if you want. So if you say, look, I'm going to rate this game and I'm going to give it uh, three, four... Let's give it five stars. I've never even played it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty epic game. Uh, and then I can also write a review on that game. How good was that game played? Did it work for my youth group or not? Uh, so I'll just say great. Oops. Be able to, spelling is a, an important thing. Uh, boys and girls stay in school. Uh, great game. So I'll put that in there. Uh, then done. Then I can put, I can actually upload images or videos there. So if I have videos of me playing the game, that can go in there or pictures, which is going to populate this app. So you can actually see real life people doing it, right? You can say, oh, this is how the game is played. Much like the games I put right here on my YouTube channel. So if you just search games in the search bar up there, by the way, you will find a bunch of games right here. So let's go back to this. Now at the very top, you have uh, you have a um, menu of items there. So if you just want upfront games, you can click that and it will come up with some upfront games. You say, I need some upfront games. That's what I need. Or I need screen games. You can click on that and it will come up with some screen games. And everything, by the way, is downloadable. Like you had those slides there. Uh, let's go ahead and just click on uh, where in the Bible. So if I click on where in the Bible and it says download slides, okay, what to get give you the slides, prep, how to play. If I just click the download slides, well, it's going to give me all the slides to drop into whatever presentation software that I'm going to have. And I can then plop it in there and there you go. I have it ready to go. So back to the game section here. Uh, another thing I can do, if you notice the ratings, uh, that's already gotten, that's already got six ratings, by the way, we're in the Bible. 
Uh, you can be able to heart it if you really liked it. And you can put it in there and say, hey, look, I've checked this. And that's going to go into your box, into your folder of games you have played before. So you can always have a standby of the games that you have played. And uh, let's go back to, uh, once again, you have social distancing games. Uh, you have Bible games. You have all play games where everybody can participate. Now, those are all great features. You can search that for yourself. Now, what you can, what what you're not seeing here maybe is at the very bottom. Uh, it says games, but you can also do things like icebreakers. So here, break the ice, and it will give you an actual uh, question that you can ask your group. Icebreaker trivia: In miles per hour, how fast can an ostrich run? And the answer is 60 miles per hour. You can do that as a, uh, you can plug this in and put it up on the, on the screen if you want. You can use it as just a random question for your small group. Uh, whatever it is you want to do, you can use these little icebreakers. Uh, let's try to break the ice again. Uh, this one's going to be called dad jokes. Did you hear about the scarecrow winning an award? Yep. He was outstanding in his field. So if you need a dad joke, it's there for you. Uh, then you can have tools. So there's a ton of tools here. So if you want to do a stopwatch, say, look, I need a timer. You can do a chess clock where uh, each person has a turn or a time to be able to do what they have to do. Uh, you have a scoreboard right here that you can go ahead and type in the name of your scoreboard. Let's, let's say, let's say uh, Jax, add that. And then you can add the Jills, okay? And add that. And then you can be able to add points as you go. So as a team scores, you can quickly add that up and you no more you're having to need a, a marker board or somebody writing down with a, a pen. It, it, you have it right here. You can just be able to do it. Okay. Uh, other things you can do. This is a neat one here called finger chooser. So everybody that if you're playing with, let's say a small group or maybe you have six, seven people, everybody will put their finger on here like this. In fact, when it goes solid like that, it's choosing me. So uh, whoever, the, if you need to pick somebody, you can have them put their fingers on there and have them uh, have the, the app actually choose somebody. So if you look at random names, you can put in, you know, if it's John and then you can put in uh, uh, Sandy you can put her name in and then I'll put Paul in there. Okay. Uh, and add that. And then. Uh, I'll generate name and it will automatically choose a name out of those three people. And it's going to be Sandy. Okay, Sandy, you either win or you have to have a terrible consequence of some kind. Uh, and going down a little bit further, you have the wheel, uh, which you can just type in options here. And I'll maybe if you have a little spinning wheel and you want to choose a little differently, you can put Sandy again. Uh, you can put uh, you can put Paul again. Uh, you can put John again. And then what it'll do is you can spin the wheel. And it's got names there. You know, once again, you can put anything in there. You can put uh, some sort of consequence. It could be a prize. It can just make your list of things and you can automatically do it. Oh, hey, look at that. I won. Or maybe I lost. I don't know. Uh, but so uh, once again, there's polling. You can do a quick poll. Uh, so you type your question there. Is Paul cool? We know the answer to this, don't we? But we can put it in there. Is Paul cool? Uh, then add it. And then type answers here, right? Uh, yes, uh, no, uh, and maybe, 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 maybe I am, right? So then you go ahead and start and uh, people that can vote. So you can pass the phone around uh, if you want and people are going to vote. Yes, no, maybe. Uh, and we're going to put that and then we're going to go back and... Uh, there we go. Uh, maybe you need to just do a quick poll of the group on something and you already have it set up. That's the cool thing about this. You don't have to, you can just set these things up way beforehand. If you know you're going to be doing these things, go ahead and set it up way beforehand. Uh, then you have your account here, which gives you, uh, I think earlier I put on there, my games. Uh, and uh, there's nothing in there now, but if you check that box like I did before, uh, you can go ahead and that'll be a game that you put in there. Uh, played games. Uh, what have I played? Right. Then the notes on those things, icebreakers, my filters, my favorites. So that is uh, you can add new, you can add a new game or an icebreaker. So you have the ability to add into this. You can collaborate along with Grow and put your game in. Now, I've not done this yet, so I don't know what the process is or how they uh, vet these things. And those I'm sure somebody does and decides, hey, this is a great idea. Let's go ahead and put it up. Uh, and then be able to do that. So once again, you can type your game in images, video description. Um, 
And so, yeah, just go ahead and exit there. And uh, that's it. That is the Grow Games app. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you, it is a uh, tool now that you can use on your phone right there in the in your youth group. Uh, and you're saying, look, I need a quick game. I have, what do I have in my drawer? I have balloons. I have sticks. I have a, a pool noodle. Uh, whatever it is you have, you can now type that into your phone and it will find a game so that you can be able to uh, uh, experiment and play away with those games and then make notes and file it away. It is a completely accessible app that you can have all your games in there, the, your favorites, the ones you've played, uh, all those things. It's got all those tools in it. It's a really great resource. So I highly recommend you go ahead and get on your phone, download the app and uh, start playing some of these great games. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video for today. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. So you like the video and you want more of them. And don't forget, if you're brand new here to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and you get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis. And so until next time, guys, have a great time playing these games. See you in the next video.